Hey, this is Awesome from Grow My Ads. And in today's video, I wanna show you a real case study of a client of ours here at Grow My Ads where we took a test with one of their product ads and all we did was test a different image. That test resulted in a 10X on clicks and a 10X on conversions. So those conversions are worth a lot given the fact that we're selling sectional sofas. But I wanted to show this case study since a lot of people get caught up in only optimizing what's inside of the account, right? The campaign structure, the bidding strategies, negative keywords, yada, yada. I have a full video on how to optimize shopping campaigns. But a lot of people forget what's going on on the back end is also very important. So that's going to be your feed. In fact, it's one of the most important optimizations, in my opinion, when it comes to shopping ads. And so I took one little component of that, which is just the product image. We decided, hey, let's start testing some different images for some of the sectionals that we were trying to get more exposure on. And sure enough, we hit a successful image and we got lift off. So I just want to show you the real case study on that. It's a very simple test. Anyone can go about doing it. And I just want to show you the real results. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, before I fully dive in, remember, I have an entire Google Ads shopping feed optimization video. With that video comes this cheat sheet. And so why is this important? Because this gives you an entire breakdown of shopping feed optimizations, all the different attributes that are within the shopping feed itself. But here's the thing, biggest needle movers, right? I go through what are the biggest needle movers, why they're the biggest needle movers, and you'll notice image is actually sort of towards the bottom. And yeah, I had massive success with an image test. Now, this is a company, a client of ours that we've already tested the title. In fact, this case study here <laughs> is from a title test that we did for them. This was back sometime last year. But now we're, you know, further along in some other testings. We're always testing, right? Always be testing. And now we're, we're just testing some images. We do that because of some research. We were looking at competitors in the marketplace. Uh, selling furniture is a bit harder in, in, in this softer environment of an economy, especially when we had a massive boom with furniture. So we dive deep. We're always finding where can we get a little leverage. And this image test has resulted in some great success for us. But anyways, check out this video for a full breakdown on how to optimize your feed and what those biggest needle movers are. But remember, in this video, I'm talking about one component and one little change can do such a big difference to the performance of your account. Not always, sometimes you fail, you fail, you fail, but it feels really good once you do a test that actually goes in your favor and it changes the nature of your account in such a positive way, which is what I'm going to show you. All right. So what did our product image look like before? Here is inside of Merchant Center. I may have some of this blurred out, but you can see very standard pro product images, white background for most of our, our sectionals. And so, and we have a lot, right? Because this is a home reserve, you can build your own custom layout sectional sofa. So you can choose the colors, uh, the the style, and then the, the complete layout, right? So you, you could have a four piece set or you could have, you know, a 10 piece set, depending on what you're trying to build. So most of the product images have been running for years and it's what's on their website laid out during that process of being on the product page. What that looks like on an actual Google search, you know, you can see here, here's kind of the basic version of that, which is what we were running before. And what we did was took one specific type of sectional sofa that we wanted to push a little further. And I actually didn't think it worked that well, but that is this image right here. And so let me show you the bigger version of that. So here's the big image of this sectional sofa. This is a lifestyle image, which makes sense for furniture. This lifestyle can work very well with, you know, apparel as well. Anything you would wear or even use lifestyle images usually do well. 
So we wanted to test this lifestyle image for the sectional just to see, hey, is this something that's going to move the needle for us? We did some competitor research and we saw that there are a lot of competitors out there using the lifestyle images. Now, we always thought, hey, maybe we stand out because our results are pretty good on Google Ads. Maybe we stand out because we don't use the lifestyle images. But at this point, we're like, let's get some lifestyle images. Let's go ahead and, and test that with a few products. So we did isolated testing with this. We didn't change the entire feed. We just did this with a few of the sectional products that we really wanted to push. And this was one of them. So this was the old image here that we were running. And again, this was the big new one. And this is, if again, if I go back, this is what it looks like in an actual search, right? So a bit bit different. I, again, I didn't think it'd do that well because it's kind of hard to actually see in my opinion. But here are the results. This is that actual product, okay? And you could tell we were not getting a lot of clicks per week. We would get, you know, back in early January, we had, we had more. We're a bit in like an off season right now, but we're headed towards an in season. And but yeah, this just wasn't as much volume as we wanted, especially on this specific sectional sofa. So this is why we were doing isolated test on, on just this one. Well, look what happened. This thing has absolutely blown up. We're at like 2000 clicks, 3000 clicks, first week of July, A huge, huge difference. Now let's look at conversions. Boom blew up right so i know <laughs> I, I say 10x we we really did 10x but it, you know we're going from like one sale a week to 10 11. so it's not like we're doing hundreds to you know uh thousands but it's an expensive sectional sofa so for us to go from selling one a week of this skew to 10 is is pretty amazing so it's impacted our sales quite a bit and this has been a huge success in regards to an actual test for this product. So why, what happened here? Well, it's it's pretty clear. Click-through rate on this product just blew up. Now we did have a jump, it looked like back in April. I don't know what that's from, but this is, again, this is this specific product. Before we did that test, we were averaging under a 1% click-through rate. These are shopping ads, right? So that's not highly unusual, especially We've got a lot of top sellers in our mix of SKUs. I think we have hundreds of, of, of total SKUs in the shopping feed for, for this specific client. So what happened though, is that image test click-through rate went up. And as click-through rate went up, Google started showing it more. And as Google started showing it more, we got more clicks, we got more impressions on it. And sure enough, that translated to actual more sales for us. So. All it took was one simple product image test and we were able to 10X our results from that. Okay, here's another example of how a product image can stand out, right? So I searched custom golf balls. This was an actual search. This had nothing to do with research for this video. This just took place literally a few days ago. With that said, this image right here stood out to me, there's a, a picture of a funny guy's face on the ball. There's grass. So, you know, obviously that resonates with golf. And then look what's next to it. It's still a custom golf ball, according to their title, but it's just a white ball on a white background. This pops way, way more and grabbed my attention over any of these other images that were being used on the shopping ads. So again, just another example of how powerful a product image can actually be. Now, I have no idea what their results are. I don't know these companies. I would assume though they're, they're, they're getting great click-through rates and hopefully great sales then due to the fact they're using such an amazing image compared to their competitors. Okay, so with product images, here's the nice part. You can go inside of Merchant Center and you can literally change, if I go to a product, Inside of Merchant Center, you can do an override offer. And all you do then is go down to the image link and you can drop in a new image or you add a new image URL. You don't need to use 
software of any sort. In my data feed optimization video, I do talk about, hey, there's other solutions out there that can help with your feed optimizations, like a data feed watch or others, feedonomics, et cetera. Or, you know, you're, you can do this on the back end. You can use a supplemental feed. In this case, you can just override it with the image link override offer that's built inside of Merchant Center. This, so this was super easy to do. This test took, obviously we had to get the images from the client. So there were some creative efforts there, but from the standpoint of doing an, a test, all it took was changing an image inside of Merchant Center and giving it a few weeks of runtime to collect data. And that's all it took. And we got 10X sales. There you go. I hope you got great value from this. Somewhere on the screen, there's going to be the video to the Google Shopping Feed Optimization video that I did earlier. Make sure to go check that out. A ton of great value there. You'll also get access to the Notion Doc cheat sheet, totally free, and it gives you all the shopping feed attributes and, and then the needle movers that can actually impact your account. I even give a real case study on a title optimization that was made that 10 X results for that specific product. So make sure to go check that out and I will see you on the next video.